Nice. Literally hit right next to it. And it still stopped it. Could be hurting, but. Be Gucci. All right, go. Got him. I mean, technically it stopped it, but you, that would hurt way too bad. Dang, that sucks. Yeah. 1500, dude, what the heck? Ready? Yep. Alright, um, you'll probably be dead, but it did stop it. I don't know, it's in there somewhere. All right, so here's the plate. Um, it got pretty bunched up. And to stop that from happening, you just have to sew it. Well, obviously I can't do that or else I would have done that. So that's, that's how you step this up. I have to find a way to sew this. I think I'm, I don't know, I think I'm gonna buy like a a shoemaker on Amazon, it's like a hundred dollars. From the reviews I've seen, it literally can freaking sew through anything on planet Earth. So I'll probably get that. Anyways, here's our two Liberty Civil Defenses. This one was like way slower than the box for some reason. It was 1092 feet per second. And this one was 2020, 2020 feet per second. So this is the one we're gonna be looking at really and they're pretty close it did stop both of these and then here we have 240 grain jacketed hollow point 44 magnum here here and then actually the rest are that we have one stop here and one stop here these two went through um i think this one went through also and so did this one but these two were after it had already bunched up, so I don't even think it was hitting anything really. Definitely not this one. This one might have hit a little bit, but I'm not too sure. But we do have two stops on this jacketed hollow point 44 Magnum. And this was going way too fast. I don't I I got the slowest 240 grain. 44 Magnum I could find, which was, I think the box was 12, 1230 or 1210 feet per second. But out of the 16 inch barrel, it was literally going 1700 feet per second. It, I got, I got readings from 1500. Um, I think it was that one. And then this one was 1776. So yeah. I don't know, way above the NIJ rating. The NIJ rating is like 1430 feet per second. So even this one at 1500 was still above. And this one is definitely above. So I don't know, I guess let's just open this up and see what we can find. I don't even know how to open this, honestly. I freaking, I double sewed it. I did the original sewing, which is done at a nylon thread, and then I went back and did a Kevlar thread. So it held up pretty well, actually. It didn't break until I think these two like edge shots. Here's the Liberty Civil Defense right there. Pretty cool. There's a freaking jacket all in here. Some more pieces right there. All right, so 
That's really all there is with that. Here is his Liberty Civil Defense round. Attempt to open this back up a little bit. Should really have gloves for this. The silicone is weird. I don't even know if it dry all the way. Feels freaking sticky a little bit. Alrighty. Liberty Civil Defense 1, 2. Stopped 44 Magnum here and Mm, here, I think? I don't know. We had 14 layers of UHMWPE. I don't know how many this is. Probably like 12. This dried. This doesn't feel dried. So I'm not really sure how to make that dry. Right, here's 44 Magnum number one. This is our six layers of woven Kevlar. Jacket right here. This is our 12 layers of non-woven Kevlar. Here's 44 Magnum number two that stopped. Pretty similar. Where did I put this? Right here. This one looks a lot bigger. weird it did it doesn't look like it went through this this is broken and so is this one but there's no holes here not that i can see there's definitely no hole on the top one i don't see a hole here there's a hole here Let's see, so this is the faster Liberty Civil Defense, and I can see a hole here. But when you flip this over, 
There's no hole in the back side here, but there is here. So maybe it just broke these, which is the opposite of what was supposed to happen with this layer. It seems very stiff, so I don't know why it broke like that. But I don't know, there's there's a mark here, but obviously the round isn't in this layer, so. Maybe this was this one. This was just laying in the carrier. Maybe the first one was I don't know, the one that broke up to a bunch of pieces. Break off. So, yeah, I don't know. It definitely did stop both of them. As we can tell by the no hole in the back here. Probably this. It's the first Liberty Seal Defense. Kind of just freaking blew up. Whereas this one didn't. Um, but yeah. Overall, I think this did really well. Um, it stops Liberty Civil Defense which a lot of soft body armors can't do unless they're a little bit thicker, which this was, but it's pretty thin to compare to the 3A plus plates I've seen. Most of the 3A plus plates I've seen from actual body armor companies are like half inch. And this isn't even 3 eighths. It's pretty close. It's 0 0.33 inches. So overall, I think this did really well. Only thing I would do differently is sew it if I could, but like, I don't even know what could get through this. This is like really hard. Literally almost broke this razor blade trying to cut this. But this stuff doesn't like stick. Like it doesn't laminate the red, the Kevlar. It just like sits on the top kind of, which is not what we want. I don't know how to change to fix that. But yeah, this is the back of this layer. These two literally don't count. This one did a lot more damage even though it was going super slow. Maybe my chronograph was just messed up and didn't read it correctly. This one seemed to do a lot more damage than this one did. Yeah, but anyways, that's the plate. This was a lot of material. So, I don't really know how to fix the silicone not drying all the way. I think it's the disc coating that's on these materials, the non moving materials that stops it from curing. But yeah, so maybe I have to try and find another glue. Because originally we used Elmer's glue, extra strength, but that was too soft in the heat. So I got silicone to combat the heat, but then it didn't dry. So, and I waited like 
I think four days for everything to dry. So thumbnail right here. All right, so I don't know, comment your thoughts in the comments and also next video idea, because this was it for, this is all I had planned up until here. So if you have any ideas on the next video, comment that and I'll see what I can do. Peace.